What is going on, my lovely creatures and mono rare rotors? This is Cameron, the Hedgehog 261. And for today's um, HSK unboxing review, we're going to take a look at what we got for Walter's main line and train line. These, these, both of these are from the Santa Fe Railroad. We got a flat car, right? And a large window. Oh, uh, for 85 budded passenger car. We're going to take a look at it right here, right now, at Cameron the Hedgehog 261. <laughs> Okay, so now I thought we do was begin this, uh, let's unbox this flat car. So, I will be giving this, um, uh, giving out, um, information what the flat cars are used for. For some of you who don't know about trains and everything. The flat car is used for many things. They can't, they put vehicles and stuff to transfer to other cities. Cities, not only that, it carries wood. And then even like heavy, heavy machinery work. So once you get this out of the box, you get like a little plastic protective thing from any damage or scratches to the car. You get, you always will get like this, this, yeah, the warranty information of the car in case like you want to send this back to Bachman or anything else. You know how that goes. I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna test this out to see how it goes. Hmm, moves decent. I like that. All right, so. So, right, so, here's the top details, here's the, yeah, but so I'm going to try to do this in the video besides just taking the pictures all the time, so, here's this side, and, uh, here's the other side, has Santa Fe on it, which is, yeah, shock control, let me, Yep, here's the under details. Let's, let's say, and let's see. Not too bad for my first Santa Fe rolling stock, am I right? I will, I'm also, will, I was also planning on getting another one. It's going to be a 40 inch long of, it's like a, yeah, 40 inch long of the wood. The wooden box cars from Walter's main line that I'm going I might try to get probably like around next month when it's spooky month. Yeah, because it's spooky month. I'm so, I know it's a few weeks from Halloween, but still. I can't help it. It's a spooky month. Anyways, I'm gonna grab one of the um yeah, one of the Bach Bachman's rolling stuff and compare the compare that with this uh, flat car. Okay, so I got this hopper car. You may have seen this hopper car before. Or it was from like the Bachman Santa Fe Flyer set. But what you I found this at my hobby store. I didn't actually got the set. But I will getting that set during Christmas. Anyways, this one is the Dunaware in Ohio. And as we can see, I think that the uh, Yeah, I think that Walters might be yeah, I think it's coupler. I think it's a, it's a little bit, not bigger, but maybe a little. Yeah, this is a little bigger than uh, Bachman is. Not bigger, but it's just a little short. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what I meant to say. But that, uh, these connect together, and I don't think it's going to be, you know, like, it's not going to, like, pull off, or, like, I don't think it's not going to be doing it like that. That's good. Alright, next up is, this, is the passenger car, so let's move on to that. Alright, let's move on, let's get this. As usual, with uh, Broadway, I mean, Walter's Mainline, you get this information of, about the parts lighting effect. Like, it's a your lighting kit for Walter's Mainline coach, baggage luggage, well, baggage luxury. I'm, yeah, I'm getting a passenger car like that, like this real soon. And there, yeah, there's a sleeper and a diner. So, yeah. Oh, there's some decals as well. Okay, I'm got Okay, these ones are from... These are the decals for Euro Pacific and... Uh, so here's the Santa Fe ones right here. Not sure... I... Oh, you're Southern Pacific. Cause I saw that the SP, but those are the only three I know. I don't I don't know a lot about a lot about the other ones. I got to do some more research on that. Okay, so this one talks about the lighting kit. That one's the decals, and then this. Oh yeah, this they usually had. Yeah, they they also give this out to you in case you want to put like light interiors and stuff. It tells you how to move. They like removed the roof, so there's the instructions for that. Might come in handy. Sorry, I'm just struggling to put this in the back of the box. There we go. As always, you will get plastic protection for any like scratches or damage. This is so beautiful, I swear. This is, this was so not wasted. Once I get 37.51 and Paragon 4 next year, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this. Well, yeah. So, okay, here's the inside of the interior. It's pretty cool. I love the inside interior of this car. It's just perfect. Okay, so let me. There's the roof. Turn this the other way. Okay. Oh, what I meant to say, so I meant to show you the size as well. Silly me. Go. Here's the bottom. Oh, yeah. So, in conclusion, these are, this was the best passenger car and flat car, in my opinion. And I'm even happy I got both of these in the Santa Fe paint, paint scheme. And, and what, and how many points I would give this? Well, actually, I, I when I was saying rail, rail nails, like the type of nails that they nail, like the rails and everything else. Like how, yeah, it ended up like this. So, I get 10 out of 10 rail nails which is best best cars in my opinion so if you're wondering where you can find these at as always you can always find them at walters at walters.com on trainworld.com on ebay but i highly recommend check getting these on amazon because i order both of these on amazon with them um, maybe a little maybe expensive but but it was worth it. 
Or you could just go on Train Wall for like a decent price. Train Wall, they always got, they always got decent price compared to Amazon's. So, ever so the only sites I just shop at mainly that I have in cow is Amazon and eBay. So I already got a cow for Train Wall, but I need to put like the personal information where they can ship it. But anyways, I think I'm gonna um, couple these cart. I'm gonna couple this with my passenger cars. So now I got eight passenger cars and how many freight cars I got now? Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So I think thirteen passenger cars. I'm aiming for twenty passenger cars, and I'm aiming for. 12 passenger cars so the goal is for this year i'm getting 20 freight cars and then 12 passenger cars i'm still trying to get the small window version the baggage lecture and the baggage railway post office those three will be from walter's mainline while i get the large dome car with amtrak of the what was it? Pensab 2? Yeah, Pens I think it was Pensab 2. It has light interior with it from Bachman. And for the other boxcars, I will get like some tankers. Or I can just find some from my hobby store since they got some. But other than that, I'm going to couple. Have 261, 1225. And my diesel. Pull this car with my other ones. It's have my diesel and my smaller engine take take some freight cars with this so enjoy the run also you can also you can always comment uh what should i get and unbox and review it next like i don't mind taking y'all's comments and they will be featured in the next video but until then this is cameron hydro 261 i'll see you all soon in the next ho unboxing and review See you later, my lovely creatures and monorail runners. And as always, take care and be good people. Well, due to the fact that 261 is not working at the moment, it still is. I'm I'm not sure what's going on with it, so I'll go ahead and expect it soon. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and run my other engine.